There are two reasons why you need to have a lockbox or some type of safe in your car when you're carrying a gun. That's what we're gonna talk about today, folks. Let's get into it. What I'm talking about specifically is the Hornady TriPoint lockbox. Something similar to this or this. This is what I carry in my vehicle. Now, very simple with a lock and key. I don't go with biometrics. I don't go with electronics when we're talking about the vehicle because extreme heat, extreme cold can affect the functionality of a uh, electronic lock or biometric lock. I've had people tell me I've swiped my finger 10 times, it didn't open my lock. It was, it was 90 degrees, it was 20 degrees, whatever it might be. So I like to go old school. I have a key on my key fob for my lock box. It's that simple. It comes with this cable and this loops around the inside of the lockbox, so you can loop this around the frame of your seat, car seat, for example. Can someone cut it off with a bolt cutter? Of course they can, but we're talking about good faith effort to secure your gun in your vehicle that someone who's just looking for a quick grab is not going to be able to get, right? Somebody's going to have to take their time and make a, an effort with, for example, bolt cutters in order to get this lockbox out of your vehicle. So chances are they're not even going to bother. They're going to move on. That's what you want. Now, the first reason why you need to have one of these in your vehicle, if you don't have a traditional trunk, which a lot of people do, a locking trunk, and some people say, well, they're not very secure. You can get to them through the back seat, can break into them in other ways. Again, very true, but a traditional trunk that locks is an acceptable way to secure your weapon. Because remember, we're talking about a temporary storage solution, right? You go somewhere where you know you can't have your gun or you find out when you get there, you can't take it inside. So now you have to secure it in your vehicle. It shouldn't be for a long time, right? We're not talking about overnight. We're talking not talking about for two days. We're talking about for maybe 20 minutes, an hour, two hours, wherever you're, if you're going to a concert, for example, and you're in there two, three hours. We're talking about a temporary storage situation. So the first reason is your state or jurisdiction may require it. In New Jersey, where I'm from, back in 2022, December, Governor Murphy signed what I like to call the anti-carry law. There were many restrictions to this law, some of which are being challenged in court. There's a preliminary injunction on some of the challenges. They are not enforceable under the preliminary injunction pending the outcome of the case. However, one of the requirements or restriction under this new law is that you must secure your gun in your vehicle unloaded in a lockbox or secure container separate from the ammunition. So again, if you have a traditional trunk that you can lock the gun in there unloaded, you can use that. However, I found that a traditional safe box or a lockbox also works well. You can hide it under the seat once you secure it with the cable that loops around the inside. It's very quick and easy to do. And again, I would go with key, a simple key, old school, no electronic biometrics or electronic lock. You can go with a combination, but make sure it's a manual push button combination that will most likely not fail in extreme heat or extreme cold. The second reason why you need a lockbox or some type of a safe to secure your gun in your vehicle is that you may have a tendency to just leave it at home. If you know you can't get in a building or an event with your gun, you might just say to yourself, I'll just leave it at home. I've never had a problem there before. I'm gonna leave it at home. And then on your way there or on your way back, you could be in a situation where you need your gun and you won't have it. So this has happened to a friend of mine recently. Uh, where he left his gun at home because he knew he wasn't going to be able to get in the event with it. And then on his way there, he encountered a situation where he really did need his gun. Fortunately, everybody was okay in the end, but he regretted it. And now he's got a lockbox and he's going to take his gun with him when he can and secure it in the box if he can't take it inside the event or the building. I've been asked about ammunition. Can you store ammunition in your vehicle? Well, again, we're talking about temporary storage, folks. Mentioned this in previous videos that in your vehicle, it's extreme conditions, whether it's very hot, very cold, very humid, or very dry. Ideal conditions for ammo is typically cool and dry. So I mentioned this before where I think your everyday carry ammo should be changed out more frequently than ammunition that say is in a cool, dry place at your home. That being said, 
Can you store it in your car if you go into shopping or if you're going somewhere where you can't take your gun or you don't want to take your gun? Maybe a doctor's appointment, for example. Yeah, it's okay to store it temporarily in your car. But again, remember, if it's if you're in a high humidity areas such as Florida, it's not going to last as long leaving it in those conditions. So you're carrying it on your person, whether it's on you or in your car, it's in those extreme conditions. It's not going to last as long, but temporarily it's okay to store. Again, I would recommend something like the Hornady TriPoint Lock. You can get this on Amazon. It's about $50, give or take. I'll put a link in the description. Doesn't have to be this one. There are many out there. Just remember that my recommendation is that it has a key lock or a push button manual combination lock. Something that is most likely not going to fail in extreme heat or extreme cold condition. Forget about the biometric for your car. Forget about the electronic digital readout lock. In my opinion, in extreme conditions, their, their tendency is to fail. They're great for your house or your home or your office where your temperature and conditions are pretty much the same basically uh, day in and day out. But for your car, I would go with traditional lock or traditional push button manual combination lock. That's it folks. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it. Also consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when we release new videos. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe.